Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I received a package today and I want to do a quick unboxing uh, because I pre-ordered this item and I think I might be one of the first people to get it. So I wanted to take a look at it and show it to you folks and do a little bit of feature comparison and give you a quick overview and also talk about uh, what I'm going to use it for. So. This is the new guide camera from CWO. I ordered it directly from them, pre-ordered. Well, this is one thing that's interesting is the box actually is um, different than their previous ones. So they have different packaging. And they also have uh, order to open. <laughs> ASI guiding camera. This is the ZWO ASI 220mm Mini. And like I said, this box is, uh, is new, so that's interesting. Uh, I have several other ZWO cameras, and they all of the planetary and guide cameras are in these small rectangular boxes. So this is new packaging. So let's take a look here. So we have a small manual. We have camera itself in a nice little foam piece, uh, USB cables, SD4 cable, and there, there is two separate USB. This one uses USB-C. I'm presuming one's a shorter one, one's a longer cable. They are 90 degree connectors. You can see that there. So the USB-C is a 90, 90 degree. So a little foam brick here. I like the packaging actually better than the other ones. So what we have here is, uh, I'll put some pictures here, but uh, ZWO ASI 220mm Mini. It's a guide camera. It has two extensions. As a uh, intercorder extension, and then a smaller one that I think will connect a C to a CS thread. It, it's uh, essentially uh, essentially is a five millimeter spacer. So that's the sensor size. What I'm going to do is compare it with the ZWO ASI 174mm Mini as well as the ZWO ASI 290mm Mini. These are, uh, there were three, now there are four uh, planetary cameras uh, in their lineup. They're pretty much pretty much the same. They just have different specs on the sensor. They are all are USB-C. Uh, they are USB 2.0 speed. So for planetary, they're not uh, fast. Otherwise, they're the same. Um, but they have this small form factor, which makes them very good for use in off-axis guiders. So I've already done a video comparing different off-axis guiders and some of the pros and cons. Um, this is the ZWO off-axis guider, the original model with their helical focuser. Uh, I've used this with the 290, the 174, um, and I could use it with this. One of the issues with this particular model is the aperture, the clear aperture down there uh, is only 5.5 millimeters, which is smaller than this sensor, so you're wasting real estate 
um, it's better suited for their original model, the 120 mm mini, which I don't own. I thought about getting one of those, um, but I bought this one when this one was announced. So um, it is cloudy tonight, so <laughs> it's typical. Uh, but I also, I really kind of bought it because I want to use it with um, guide scopes. And I have several different guide scopes. Uh, I have three guide scopes um, that are roughly this size. This is the QHY mini guide scope. This is the William Optics uh, UniGuide 32 millimeters. This is a 30 millimeter, 130 millimeter focal length, 30 millimeter diameter, f4.3 focal ratio. This is a 32 millimeter, um, 120 millimeter focal length. It's written there. And it's f3.75, so it's a little bit faster. And this is the one I plan on using. with the 220, the new, the new one. I just bought this, I haven't used it yet, so I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this out. I'm gonna match it with a small refractor. So it's a small setup. Um, I also have uh, the SV Boney cheap one, the $50 model. I think it's the SV165. So um, that's what I currently have out on the, uh, the setup right now. And I'm going to try to compare these three. I don't think there's a lot of differences. Most of it comes down to weight, size, preference. This one's slightly longer focal length. This one's slightly heavier. Um, is the SV Boney, is the, are the optics as good as these? Probably not quite. You know how much difference. Um, with the sensor, the sensor size only matters. Um, for the opening here, uh, where a large sensor size like this 174 can't illuminate this, it can on larger off-axis guiders. I have the ASCAR model, which has an eight millimeter opening, which is perfect for this 220. Um, the 174 is still too large. This is best paired with something like a Celestron off-axis gutter, which I have, and I don't tend to use it with my SCT, but also the ZWO, off-axis guide or large version that you is best paired uh, it fits perfectly with um, like a 2600 mm pro with uh, their at the way it mounts directly to um, the filter wheel so I don't I don't have monochrome for that uh, if I did I'd buy one and that would be the, the perfect camera for this and that's my goal at some point to go monochrome and I'll, I'll use it for that but um, I tend to use this 290 in my 80 millimeter refractor. So anyway, that's a, that's upcoming in the future. I have nothing to, to test here. You can read the specs online. I just want to do a boxing. I am happy to see that the packaging is different and it looks like an upgrade. This manual says version 2.0. So uh, quick guide. So it really refers to more than just this camera. It lists how to guide, um, it's, it's more of a general manual for their, their guide cameras, not necessarily the 220 model, but, um, but there you have it. It's, it's the new model and I'm excited to, uh, to try it out here and uh, see how it works. Um, it's their first model in a long time that doesn't use a Sony sensor. Um, this one uses a Oh, I, I don't even know the manufacturer. Um, it's listed on the website. It's SC2210 or something. It's not the same manufacturer as the 120mm either. So pixel size is four microns, which is slightly larger than the 120. Um, it is seems to have much lower read noise. Um, than the 120 or even less read noise than both of these as well. Actually, it's probably the lowest read noise of the three. Um, Pixel's a little bit larger. 
Uh, so depending on your setup, may not be better than the 290. Might be, might not. It is a larger sensor than the 290. Um, so depending on your ratio of your focal length to um, what you have, it may work out better. May not be the best choice, but um, so there you have it. Uh, new toy, new new thing to try. Tool, a tool slash toy. Uh, ZWO ASI 220mm Mini. Hope to uh, test it soon. Thanks for watching.